We have an amazing group of young ladies that we're going to meet this morning. The Cube ETs are a club from Taylorsville and have been the state champions the past three years. You know, this all-girls robotics club is heading to the world championships. That's as they, so cool. They're trying for an even bigger award. We have Annika Johns, who is an engineer in and of herself, right? No, <laughs> I'm not an engineer. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that, that's just me. No. But, um, but let's really delve into what they are doing there. This is pretty impressive stuff. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah, this is absolutely phenomenal. So it's a team of four girls, just four, and they're all right here with me. So will you guys, one by one, tell me your names really quick so everybody at home knows who you are. Hi, I'm Nolia. Nolia. I'm Wild Violet. Wild Violet. Mara. And I'm Bria. Okay, so you guys are pretty cool. Obviously, we, we can kind of see we're in a cool studio here, but tell me a little bit about what you guys do. What exactly is your team? What are you guys making? And I'll, whoever wants to talk, I'll pass you the microphone. You want to do it? Okay. Sure. So we are Team 20515, the Cube Dets, and we are a first robotics team um, for our first tech challenge. So what we do is we build robots based on a challenge we are given every school year, and then we compete with a bunch of other teams from Utah, and um, the goal is to get to Worlds. Wow, and you made it to Worlds. That's we the cool did. thing. And how soon are, is Worlds? When, is, when are you guys leaving? It's on April, I think, 16th, around that week. Okay. Yeah. It's the 15th through the 19th. 15th through the 19th of April. Okay. And so kind of, um, I know you have a theme that you have to do every year. So kind of talk about that theme. And if you want to pass the mic around, you totally can if someone else wants to talk. Talk about this theme that you have to do. <laughs> All right. So this year's theme is Into the Deep. And um, what we're supposed to do is we have this game field here. Um, and our robot is supposed to pick these uh, pieces, these samples, out of the submersible and put them into observation zone where they can get clipped and, or put them into the buckets in order to score points. Wow. Okay, so that's pretty impressive. I mean, it takes a lot of programming, a lot of building, right? So obviously you guys have been working for months to get this, and now you get to go to Worlds, and you guys are going to show us kind of what this will look like at Worlds. So obviously a little bit of a smaller stage here, but I wanted to see what you guys are going to do at Worlds. So I'll take this from you, and we'll let these four girls go scatter and do their thing, and I'll talk to their coach a little bit more here. And so obviously while these girls get set up, mm -hmm. talk about the work ethic these girls have and like what it means for them to go to Worlds. Sure. So um, these girls start in September. That's when we get our, our season description. Um, and then our first competitions start usually in December or January. And um, so they have to work hard. They, they start with a, a pile of parts and they have to build them completely starting up. So over here on the field we have our competition robot which is this big one all in purple and on the other side we have our what we call our strafer bot. That is kind of our beginning base that we start with. And so while we're building and getting all the extra things on it, our programmer takes our strafer and starts doing padding and programming so that we have time to get it all done in time. And so um, you can kind of see more of a base of what, we, and all of that actually is in bits and pieces, wow. nuts and bolts, and they have to start from the ground up and build it new every year. It's a different season. They have different challenges, so it's completely different every single year. Wow. Um, they have to work. You know, they, they spend hours every week. Um, I would probably say at least 15 hours a week on their, you know, spare time yeah. on this. And when competition season happens, it's a lot more than that, I can tell you. Oh, I'm sure. So, so um, do we give them a ready, set, go, or how does this work? Yep. Over here, our other coach will do it. And so what's going to happen is he's going to tell them to start. Go ahead and do that. And our first 30 seconds that we're going to show here is all autonomous. So they have pre-programmed this robot to go and do all these functions. And um, it's going to push some of these in. And it's going to come, come over here, and it's going to grab those off and go and hang them over here on the bar. Oh, <laughs> it happens. That's robots for you. So. That wow. robot's in a hurry. And so, obviously, <laughs> putting, the, putting the, the things up causes point, it creates points, right? That's yes. how you get points. That's how you get points. And then if we park, and then <laughs> you'll hear kind of sound. 
The driver's going to pick up their controllers, and then in competition, they have a full two minutes to try and pick things up. Wow. So if they have the little clips on them, they can only be hung. Otherwise, they can pick up um, these other samples <laughs> and put them over here in the bucket. Bu what? Buckets. So yeah, yeah. the blue team oh, can touch awesome. the blue ones, yeah. the red team can touch the red ones, and then the yellow ones are for anyone. They're neutral. This and is the so, coolest thing I think I've ever seen. This is amazing. And they all program and build it 100%. Yes, it's the girls doing the job. We have mentors that help coach and guide, but the girls, so it. all of the custom purple parts were designed and 3D printed by Mara. Wow. Um, and Nolia is our head programmer. She's, she's done all of the pathing and programming and all that other stuff. And so. Wow. Well, thank um, you so much for letting us come and see yes. this. This is so exciting. And obviously, they have a couple days until Worlds. Yep. They got about a week about to a finish week. getting ready. So they'll finish and, wrapping things up. Yep. And we, if anybody wants to help support us, give us help for getting to Worlds. We have a GoFundMe. Um, and then also on the 15th of April, we're doing a virtual through Panda Express. And we'll have a code on our Facebook page. Um, and yeah. Perfect. So if you just Google Cube Debts 20515, you'll pop up our Facebook page and we'll have our code on there. And we also have a link to our GoFundMe there. Amazing. Well, we'll be cheering you guys on all the way here from Utah. Good luck at Worlds. Good luck, girls. You got this. Thank you for letting us come by. Ron, Mary, I'll send things back over to you. I'm going to go play with some robots. Yes, oh, come drive. I'm going to go play with some robots. It's like Big Hero 6, you know, the battle box. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's That's Big right. Hero 4 right there. We wish you all the best in the competition. That's, right. That's what STEM is all about when That's you see right. all that yes. come together. All so, of it. Congratulations to you guys. Yeah. All right.